Hi, I'm Ryan. And I'm Mario. We're with Midnight Solar, and today we're going to show you how to navigate and use the battery menu on your kid charge controller. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the main menu button down here in the right corner, and you see battery comes up highlighted. And kind of like the classic, I believe, like if I'm in a different menu, like input, if I keep pressing main menu, see it doesn't come back like the classic does. So you, you got to get back here. Um, so now we're at the battery. You'll see the brackets on either side. We press enter and we're in the battery menu. This is where we're going to set all these parameters. And again, I really, really want to stress that things like absorb, float, EQ, those values are battery manufacturer specific. And what that means is that the manufacturer of the battery is going to supply these values to you, not us, because we don't know what battery you have and we don't know every battery. And it's very important that we get these right because just a couple tenths of a volt low will cause the battery to be undercharged and an undercharged battery will die a very quick, horrible life. So just because it comes up as default, don't trust those. You know, just you really want to go to the battery manufacturer and get these values. So now that I've given you all those warnings, when you see the little asterisk beside the word, that's, that's the word that we're going to be working on. So the asterisk is beside absorb, so I'm going to press enter to get in the absorb menu. And again, the same thing with the asterisk. Unlike the classic that highlights the value, the kid has the asterisk beside it, and we'd use the arrows to move the asterisk back and forth between items. And here what you're looking at is the absorb voltage, also called the bulk voltage at times. To change that, we'd use the up and down arrow. We would scroll over to change the time from 120 minutes to whatever we, we feel we need. And then when we're done, again, unlike the classic for those of you that are familiar with it, the kid has a save button. You don't press the enter button, it doesn't do anything. You'd press the save button, and you see it's going to say it's been saved. So now that we're done with these, we'd hit the main menu button to back out. And again, we just move this, this cursor over. Same thing with float, exactly same way to set it. Use the up and down arrow. You see there is no time because float is basically the rest of the day. We press the main menu button. Go into EQ. This one's a little bit different. Equalize is off. Um, I confess I'm not a really familiar with this menu, so I may bring Mario in here in a minute. Um, we would go over to start. I would presume if we press save, we would start that. Uh, I'm going to bring Mario in so he can explain the equalize menu to me because I haven't even seen a place to set equalize voltage here. Well, uh, as you can see, the equalize battery has to be done manually. So to start, you say start, then you have to press enter. Now you mentioned you don't have the, the uh, voltages. So if you press the setup button, that's where you set up your voltage and time. Okay, and that will so, so when I'm in the menu, I would press the setup button. Okay. Correct. So here's where, where we would set the equalized voltage and equalized time. Same as the absorb. We move the asterisk back and forth. We use the up and down arrows to, to change the parameters. The save button will actually save that to the memory. And I presume if we press the main menu button once, we get back to this equalized start and off. So basically what this first menu is, when you're, when you're here in the battery menu, EQ is highlighted with the asterisk and you press enter, this is where you would start or stop and equalize. So off would be stop, start would be on, you know, be start and equalize. And like Mario was saying, we press enter here to start the equalize. We don't get any actual feedback, but when we press the status button to go back to the home screen, we would see that it said equalize or equalize MPPT on the screen. That's correct. So now we go back. Let's go back and look at Amplement. We'll highlight Amplement and press Enter. Here we have a little bit different than the Classic because the kid has a 30 amp load circuit. So we can actually set the limit to the load circuit to something other than 30. So if you wanted to trip off at over 10 amps or something, we can adjust that value. And the same with the battery. The battery amps is the output amps into the battery. We could, we could turn that down if we needed to, if we didn't want to put the whole 30 amps out. Uh, one thing I will mention here is the load is protected by a fuse. The fuse is a little slow, so we don't really want to rely on the fuse for protection. So what I'm, I guess I'm saying there is don't hook your inverter up to the load circuit directly and expect the kid to be able to turn an inverter off and on. If you want it to turn the inverter off and on, you're going to need either a relay of some form or using the trigger terminals on the inverter. So after those were done, we were set properly, we'd hit save again to save those to the memory. And we would go back to the main menu. We'd go into TCOMP. TCOMP is a lot like the classic, um, same thing. It's millivolts per degree C per cell. 
probably not real important that you understand all of that terminology. This is a value that will be given to you by the battery manufacturer and 99% of the time it is going to be negative 5 millivolts per degree C per cell. So that normally doesn't have to be changed but that's something you can talk to your battery manufacturer about and make sure. Uh, over here the next part over, EQ and it says no underneath that. What that's asking us is do we want to temperature compensate the charge voltage for an equalized charge? And the reason we would say no is not that we don't want to put too much voltage in the batteries, it's that some inverters have a, low, a high battery shutoff that would be lower than the temperature compensated voltage of the equalized. So if you've got an inverter that shuts off at say 15.5 and your batteries are cold and you let this temperature comp the equalized charge, it may try to go to 17 volts or something for instance and that would turn the inverter off on you. So that's what that's there for. Um, and that's it for that menu. Again, we'd press the save button to save that to the memory. We'd back out. And we've got a little bit more to this menu. You'll notice there's an arrow here. So I'm, I'm going to bring Mario in because the rest of this is kind of an advanced portion of this menu and he's much more familiar with this than I am. So I'm going to let him navigate the rest of this menu for us and show you how to get to the rest of the screen where that arrow is. That arrow uh, pointed to the right, that means you press, if you keep pressing the right button, it will actually take you to the T-comp limits. Okay, so explain the T-comp limits to me. So in there, if you go in there, you can have a maximum, when it, whenever your battery is, you can have a... Sure, just, just like the classic here, we've got, this is the minimum that can ever lower the voltage because the battery is hot, and the maximum that can ever raise the voltage because the battery is cold then. So that's, that's the window for temperature compensation. Yes, that is correct. And, and okay. like you say, whenever you're done, you press save. Yep. Uh, as you can tell, that's 8.5. You have to actually, that's an absolute limit. It's not 8.5 from what it was. It's sure, that's, that's, that's the actual measured voltage. Yeah. Correct. Yep. And if we go back, then we have the advance. And in there, we have the N amps. So that's when the uh, battery goes from absorbed to float, when the battery is actually full. So just like the classic uh, question on the end amps, will that use the Whizbang Junior if it's connected, or is that only the output current of the kid? He can use either one. You have to set it up, and okay. that's, that's done in the calibration menu. Okay, so we'll talk about that later. So like the classic, the end amps can be set to use the Whizbang Junior, which is a current sense module that's optional to the controller. And what that does is it allows a way to terminate the absorbed charge early based on current into the battery. So if the current falls below a setting, which is a value the battery manufacturer will provide you. If the current falls below that setting, then we know the battery is basically full and we can go ahead and terminate that absorb charge instead of actually spending the whole two hours or four hours in absorb and boiling the battery. Mm -hmm. And then the rebulk beside it here is basically the opposite of that. A rebulk charge will actually trigger the controller to go out of float and back into bulk. Mm -hmm. So if you were using it in a case where maybe a big load come on, an irrigation pump come on for an hour and drug the voltage down, and you just really wanted to top those batteries off, you could set rebulk to a voltage that would allow that to go back into bulk and do another full charge for that same day. And I, I do want to point out those are both actual numbers too, not offsets. So the rebulk is a voltage and the end amps is an actual amperage. So you would set that for like 5 amps or 3 amps. Typically, the end amps is going to be 1 to 2 percent of the battery amp hour capacity. Yeah, the rebolt, uh, most people ask me why is it 0.1 volts? That's because it's basically disabled. Okay, so, so with having these both at 0.1, we basically ship the kid with both of those disabled. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's not necessarily typical for most people to use those, those especially rebulk in a solar application is fairly uh, untypical to be used. It's more of a hydro or wind uh, function. Mm -hmm. End amps can be really handy if you've got a, a battery bank that doesn't really get drained a lot at night. You can actually use end amps and not overcharge it every day. You can terminate that charge early. So, mm -hmm. Is that, that all the, the rest think, of that menu? Yeah, I think that's it for the uh, battery menu. Okay, well, thank you, Mario. Until next you. time, Ryan, Mario of Midnight Solar.